Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is open shortest path first OSPF. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, OSPF is a type of routing protocol used in computer networks. By using this protocol, routers will find best route in order to send data from one place to other place. Guys, this OSPF is a link state routing protocol, and this protocol is used in large organizations and in enterprise network. Enterprise network means big network. This is example. For example, this is big network. In this big network, this computer want to transfer data to this computer. In this route distance is one plus three, that is four. In this route distance is ten, and in this route distance is five plus four, that is nine. As four is smallest route, now OSPF will choose. This route, so now data will be transferred by using this route. So OSPF is used to find best route, that is shortest path, in order to transfer data from one device to other device. This is how OSPF will work. And the first one is routers talk to each other and exchange information about the network. Guys, in OSPF, each and every router will communicate to each other and they will exchange information. Now each router contains information about all other routers in the network. That is nothing but Each router knows entire road map in order to transfer data. So now by using this map, each router will calculate shortest distance in order to reach to other device. In case if there is any cable break, simply router switches to other route. These are features of OSPF. And the first one is fast and works well in big networks. Guys, OSPF is used in big networks. And second one is save bandwidth. Bandwidth is nothing but it will not send any unnecessary data. And third feature is It will divide our entire network into parts, so network can be managed easily. And this OSPF will use cost system. That is nothing but low cost that equal to best path. I already said in this example, one is nothing but it is cost. When cost is less, that means better path. And in order to find shortest path, OSPF will use Dijkstra's algorithm. These are advantages of OSPF. OSPF will find new routes fastly. And second one is it is suitable for large networks. And third one is secure. No hackers can hack data. These are disadvantages. Guys, in routers, if you want to use OSPF protocol, then router needs much power and memory. This is all about OSPF. 